my name is aditya prabhu i am from goa and um, i passed 12th standard this year i actually didn't like math till i got into 8th standard or 9th standard i think and um, from that time my father gave me a book and that told about other mathematicians who had come before uh, now and um, i i read those stories and i felt really inspired by them and hence i got into mathematics from 8th and 9th before that i wasn't really into it that he my native language and it's named ganiti or mathematician it has to be used i think by everyone is tomato which is test of mathematics at 10 plus 2 level and that's uh, given by isi itself so i think that uh, that is one book um, then the uh, another book that i used was problem solving strategies by arthur engel and uh, yeah those are the only two books that i mainly used actually no, nothing else and everything else i got was from online like uh, there are websites as well like um, art of problem solving or uh, math stack exchange and those give you many questions like they have really huge collections of problems so uh, i i felt those are more flexible than books because books have like just that one level of problems right which is not really um, which may not really be related to is i mean problem solving strategies for example is high level olympiad stuff so it's not directly related to is it just gives different methods for solving questions rather than the questions that are actually related so uh, aops or yeah. math stack exchange helps i got to know about isi in uh, yeah in mid 11th actually so before that i didn't know and uh, that's when i started my preparation i just uh, uh, my sir first told me about this book tomato and i bought that book and then i read some uh, on some answer i think on quora uh, that this problem solving strategies is also a good book so i bought those two books and i started solving problems and then i realized that there were these websites so I, basically the only thing I, that i did was solve problems There's, nothing more to it just need to solve problems learn new methods and then apply those methods again like you if you become better at applying a new method then you have that tool in your arsenal that you can use it later to solve more problems so the, i i think just problem solving is more important i i mean i didn't really plan this like this month is for this topic or that month is for that i didn't plan it that way i just i i, I mean see there are these topics right all of these topics there's a list actually behind the tomato book itself so i saw the, all of those topics and then i thought okay so this topic is i mean i saw what my preparation level was with respect to those topics and then i realized okay so this topic is really weak i, I and i need to work on it so maybe first i start start solving the easier questions from tomato and then i go ahead to some more difficult question or moderate questions in on aops or something so that's how i uh, went uh, went through it actually or or uh, even on youtube there are some channels which uh, have these um, i i think i can't remember the channel name but if you search for isi cmi problems on youtube then there are many uh, youtube channels even chintas channel is there and they solve past year questions as well so that gives you an idea of what sorts of methods are usable in these exams or what sorts of methods are most required and then i try to learn those methods as well got anything extra i mean by the end of 12th uh, there was a lot of free time so i mean uh, the i mean i was um, at the school in which i was joined they finished all the portion by the mid of i mean yeah by the mid of 12th so that uh, other 6 uh, months and all the exams got postponed too so i got a lot of time there to prepare only for is or only for cmi that way but uh, before that i did it all with school only so just when i feel bored you go to some problems or you just switch from both the studies is not really some special time that i devoted so first i didn't know about chinta when i was in 11th and 12th like if i had known then then maybe i would have joined it before as well but by uh, at the last uh, yeah in the last two months when they were remaining i saw this announcement on chinta channel on the youtube and that there was going to be this preparation course in in those two months so i thought like there's not and there was really nothing to do in those two months because all the exams were postponed so i thought let's just join this and see and it helped because uh, in the last two months right there was mostly problem there were mostly problem solving sessions so i mean 
those sessions were really nice because uh, the techniques of problem solving start i mean some problems required these really different sort of thinking or techniques and i got to learn those techniques and it was really fun and not all of those things really helped but it did i mean at least i had fun i had a lot of fun that was true so if i had joined before it would have helped more i i know that much but unfortunately i didn't know about it the merit list but that doesn't imply that i will get a seat so if i get a seat of course i'm going to join isi but isi bangalore actually i applied for bachelor of mathematics course so at bangalore it is offered but if i don't get a seat well i'll join some other college and i want to do math only research and math so i'll go for bsc mathematics if if i don't get into isi if i do get into isi fortunately then i'll uh, go for b math of course and then try to do something i mean th- then the interest will shape itself but for now b math is my goal right now cricket chess and i like to listen to music as well so and watch fantasy movies or science fiction movies i used to do it sometimes because uh, okay there are two things actually first of all um, mo- some problems that have these options right like objective questions so when even when i was starting i used to actually see like if this option isn't there and that option isn't there then you basically eliminate option and then get that okay this option is right so i just tick that option so you know i i think that sort of reasoning maybe it just helps you solve the question but it it really doesn't do anything good so if you are trying to see the logic i mean it's really very nice to just go about the question without looking at any options i mean in of course in exams which are time bound you need to look at the options and there's just solve the question quickly but when you have your time to yourself then i think it's very good to just um, go through that question again and again and really understand the question and try to then come to the answer so that's one thing and another thing is that if a question is really difficult and you don't know how to solve it then don't directly look at the solution so i i did that a lot in i think yeah in the middle somewhere i did that a lot and that does not help at all because i i can tell you seriously because i know this uh, the solutions that you see may look uh, it seems like you understand all of the solutions and you uh, it feels like you know what to do when the question comes again but you really don't understand you don't remember it for more than 2 days or whatever like i couldn't remember it more than for more than 2 days so if i had given more attention to those questions and like um, really try to solve them myself it would have helped more and i think this is one thing that's more important you just keep persevering with the question and you know, unless the question is really hard in which case you do need to look at the solution but in general if you try to break that question down then it works maybe after some days some weeks but it will work